hello everybody today in this video I'm going to show you what is the warding framework is and what we can do with it how to uh, design a web application from the warding framework and how to install it to your machine first of all let's see uh, what is the uh, warding framework is Wadin is an open source platform for web application development. Uh, this uh, framework is a platform includes a set of web components, a Java web framework, and, and a set of tools and application starters. And also Wadin enables programmers to write robust web application in Java programming language. The features provided by the web framework further allows developer to uh, build web user interfaces without using client-side technologies like HTML and JavaScript. So if you are familiar with ja uh, Java, you can uh, use this uh, web framework to build uh, frontends uh, without using any uh, HTML tags or scripts li like uh, scripting language like JavaScript. Before we get uh, get into uh, Varim framework installation, I need to tell you uh, that I'm going to use Maven uh, project management tool to uh, build this Varim project. Uh, first of all, let me tell you what is Maven is. Maven is automation and management tool. It is written in Java language and used to build and manage projects written in uh, like C Sharp, Ruby, uh, some other languages. Maven helps the developer to create a Java based project more easily. That's why I'm using uh, that uh, tool to build Warden project because it is very easy. And also I need to tell you that uh, you don't need to be an expert in Java to uh, to, uh, to build uh, a web application in Wadin framework because uh, you, uh, every uh, component is provided by the framework so you only need the basic uh, knowledge about Java to do the uh, to handle Wadin framework so let us uh, go into a. Let me show you what is uh, how to download Java JDK because you need the Java in your uh, machine. Let's say uh, you need to install that and little bit uh, practice from that. So I hope you have this uh, JDK installed in your machine. If you not, uh, please install it into your machine uh, the latest Java JDK. And after that, you need to download Maven to your uh, machine. To do that, uh, simply uh, uh, type download Maven in uh, Google tab, Google search and uh, click this uh, first link. And you will get a page like this and you need to uh, download a download this uh, maven uh, project tool uh, source files uh, i'm going to uh, download this zip file so uh, after download that you need to extract it in your uh, extract it in your machine somewhere you can uh, find so after you download that zip file from maven you need to uh, extract it somewhere you can find uh, like i uh, extract it in c drive maven folder in here here i uh, extract it there's a files and uh, bin file so after doing that you need to set the path for the maven so go into uh, environment variables these are common stuff 
and uh, you need to set a maven home and you need to set the path for maven folder here yeah. and after that you need to set the path for the bin file like this after that uh, your uh, maven is can find in your machine globally so now maven is uh, you can use maven in your uh, machine correctly so let us go into uh, uh, how to create the warding project let us see how to create warding project to create a to create a uh, warding project with uh, using maven tool you, you are creating a maven project actually to do that you need to uh, use a proper IDE in my case I am going to use Intel G ID, IDEA uh, IDE uh, so uh, let's get back to the IDE so I am going to create I am going to create a new project here you can see maven here click on it and if you are doing a first time project you won't see a, you won't see this uh, this option uh, right here so you need to create a create that so it's an archetype so select this so you need to create it in here uh, you need to add a uh, uh, group id and uh, artifact id and version the latest version so you won't see it uh, because uh, it is too small so you need to add this uh, add this uh, to your uh, this is the group id arc artifact id and the latest version uh, yeah, in my case it is uh, 14 point one point two five uh, you can find it uh, if you uh, go into Vardin uh, page you will see the latest version in here this is the latest version and this is the stable version so if you uh, click those uh, details here and okay it I already done it so click the uh, and you need to uh, give a group ID so in here you going you can uh, create a new project so give the group ID and the artifact ID and the version uh, you can see uh, you can see there if I type there uh, Give the group ID com dot an artifact ID Vardin core, and give the version here two point. Okay, is set and uh, I also need to type this. And keep the uh, default settings and click next and give a, a, a project name and the location and click finish the ID is going to uh, create the project for you and uh, download the packages and uh, import imports imports and uh, and also uh, IDE needs to uh, configure the all the files to your project it will take some time if you are building a uh, at the first time it will take some time uh, don't worry and uh, you need to import these changes you need to do in the maven project after it uh, 
it's done in here like uh, the loading is finished you can uh, open up the terminal window here and type mvn jetty run and that uh, jetty plugin will install into your project I will get back into this uh, file what are these files uh, first of all there are uh, there are a lot of files in this project so go to a uh, source and name and then go to Java you will see uh, com dot uh, package and you get main view this is the uh, default component that uh, Vardin project gives you and you have um, a button uh, saying click me and it have a uh, not uh, it will have an event saying a notification you get a notification clicked and also there's a, a very important another important file uh, is a form.xml file it contains all the metadata like uh, dependencies and uh, other IDs and uh, IDs and versions and the dependencies and uh, metadata about the project so with that done you can open uh, in here right corner there's a maven project bar and click uh, my applications and plugins this is a uh, section called jetty and this is jetty run right click on it and uh, run debug wiring core after you uh, do that you see you get this configuration uh, on top of the uh, IDE so you are uh, using this plugin uh, now you are using this plugin to uh, configure your project you can ignore these uh, warnings for now uh, While this uh, this configuration now uh, get done, you can uh, check your uh, files. Okay, I made a uh, few mistakes uh, on the installation. Um, first, you need to uh, run mvn package. Then, after that, you need to uh, run mvn jetty run. I all. all uh, already done that so after that you need to uh, go to a uh, life cycle and double click on installation and there will be a, a installation there after that uh, you can 
debug and run this JT server then you need to build this project by clicking the build project okay then you need to run the project this will take some time because uh, IDE need to install some uh, packages and uh, npm packages And also need to uh, set up the uh, JT uh, server. Now it is ready. Let's uh, go and uh, check. Type localhost 8080, and you can see the default component that uh, project uh, gives you when you click. Uh, this uh, notification says uh, it clicked so uh, let's get back to a uh, Vardin uh, web page and uh, when you scroll back this uh, some dummy uh, calls there there's a uh, how to build a UI and uh, building a web component data binding you see uh, using this or uh, Java predefined classes is very easy to handle a uh, component and control them rather than uh, using HTML and scripts JavaScript so I'm going to uh, take this code snippet and post it uh, copy in my main source file here so you as you can see you need to add this you can visit uh, this UI components in build UI components in there you can uh, visit every component what uh, framework offers I'm going to uh, visit this text field because uh, you're going to uh, need this text field a lot and there's the overview of the of these components As you can see it's a greatly built and uh, good, uh, cool looking uh, features and easy to install this to your project There's a dependencies and this examples also. And also you can check the API of the uh, of them. So you are uh, IDE is showing an error because you need to import this because it's a component. So I'm going to import this manually import com dot body flow component text field text field now the text field is uh, imported and um, I also need to import this paragraph you need to suggest you can suggest suggest it and uh, import it easily with the IDE button is also added already added and you uh, you can see this event what is this event it added a button and gave it a event a event is set a text to greeting instance what is greeting instance it is a, a instance made out of paragraph component it says uh, button event says set the text when it click the button to hello plus property of the name name is the text field and uh, 
this says uh, the layout of the uh, layout of the uh, field it says first at the name the text field second at the button and third at the uh, greeting paragraph so let us uh, see I'm going to refresh this site oh, there's a small error I need to uh, build this project again and save it and build it build it and uh, run it again after it uh, after the project build you can uh, refresh the site very quickly and as you can see uh, there's the text field you can type anything and click the button you get this hello plus the value of the text field so this is uh, this is uh, I'm going to show you uh, from this tutorial I hope you uh, will uh, go through this uh, go through these components codes and everything and uh, you can uh, build great project in this Wadin framework I'm I'm uh, happy to help you and uh, see you in the next next tutorial thank you